I'm just making a quick video about my coming out story. I haven't shared it yet and I've been wanting to for quite some time so I figured why not make the video today. Now that I look back I knew I guess as a kid that maybe I was more attracted to men. I'm 20 years old so back then I never even knew what gay was or gay wasn't really talked about where I'm from because we're a small community. It was back in the 1960s. It was back in early 90s obviously so it, for me, it was in a thought, like, I've never knew that there was such thing as a guy being in a relationship with another guy or a guy being attracted to another guy. So I just kind of ignored it. So the majority of my life, I was around people that were straight. So I kind of thought I was straight as well, I guess. I just kind of went with the flow. When I was younger, I think I got confused, like versus being attracted to somebody. Obviously, I liked women as in not attracted to them, but I liked them as a person. So obviously I dated women when I was younger. <laughs> it doesn't really count because you're a kid. Dating is not really serious or anything. So I dated girls occasionally. Not a lot of girls, probably like a handful, full action, probably not even a handful. I actually never had sexual encounters with women. I kissed them obviously, but nothing big. So it's kind of, like I said, I was going with the flow. I was going with what I knew. So as a teen going through high school, I kind of figured out what gay was and people started talking more about it as it got more knowledgeable. And it was labeled as a bad thing in the past, I'm not gonna lie. So that's when I kind of was a little bit wary on if I'm gay, if I'm straight, I don't know what I am. Is it a phase? Uh, for me, I felt kind of alone just because I never knew a gay person or I didn't know anyone that knew a gay person. So I was kind of like this oddball. So I felt a little bit lost and wasn't really sure what was happening with me. So I went through a period of my life uh, where I found it pretty hard just because I didn't know who I was. I was lost. I just felt numb. I guess, in a weird sense, to my surroundings just because not really having anyone to connect with about being gay or anyone to talk to about it, I just kind of shut down in a sense. Uh, so in high school, I actually never had a lot of friends. I had a small friend group. They're great. They're awesome. But I was never the one to branch out and talk to people first. Um, if people talked to me, I kind of was like, oh gosh, they're talking to me. I don't want them talking to me because they might know I'm gay. I was never going to party. Um, I didn't like socializing, honestly. I just stayed home and played video games <laughs> and hung out with my very small friend group. So after high school, I graduated and stuff like that. I start coming into my shell a little bit just because when I hit 19 I started drinking more so therefore I loosened up I started socializing more um, and all that and then I started meeting new people and I actually met a few gay people so it was kind of cool to see actually meet like a gay person and actually talk to them and I was like wow they're normal people because I never really met anyone gay before as weird as it sounds now I slowly started accepting myself probably early 20s and then the biggest thing for me is when to tell somebody or should I tell somebody just because you have that mentality where you think you're going to be shunned or you think people are going to hate you I went through a period of time where I knew I was gay for sure but I didn't know the right time or who should I tell or when should I tell somebody so I slowly started telling my close friend group who did I tell? I can't remember. I remember, I don't remember, I'm lying. <laughs> I don't remember who I first told. If you're watching this video and I told you, let me know. Um, I remember wanting to tell people, but I physically couldn't say the words I'm gay. So I just kind of like froze up. I remember telling a few people, honestly being like, oh, I have something to tell you. And then just sit there and not tell them. And eventually, when I first start saying the words, oh, I'm gay, I start telling more and more people inside my friend group. I'm obviously never told like a lot of people, but just people that I can trust that I felt like that should know. My group of friends knew for a while that I was gay and they're super supportive. Um, it was super nice because at the same time I was kind of lost about feelings and being attracted to men and liking certain men. And it was just really nice to have that open communication with my friends just telling me it's okay to feel that way. It's normal. It's just kind of be a part of who you are. So it was a few years before I actually started telling more people that I was gay. I remember watching Big Brother Season 3, Canada. There's actually a guy named Kenny Brain that was on the season. And for me, that's when I first started watching Big Brother and I connected really well with him. Just because he was from Newfoundland, he was from a smaller town. I could see a lot of similarities in him and me. So for me, it was kind of motivation to tell more people that I was gay at the time. So during that time where I was working, I was more motivated to tell more people. So I started telling my coworkers, just my closer ones, um, and they were totally cool with it. Over time, I was like, okay, this is cool. So I started actually being like, hey, I have something to tell you, I'm gay. Like, 
just telling people out of the blue that I felt like that should know. It was nice not living a lie type thing anymore. And because being in a relationship is such a big part of your life and to hide that about yourself, it's really hard. It sucks. Um, everyone wants to be loved. They want to find a partner that loves them no matter what. So then after telling people, so fast forward eight months later or whatever, um, I moved away from Newfoundland. So now I do live in Alberta now. So moving to a new place for me was really refreshing. It was kind of a way for me to escape, I guess, in a weird sense. I moved just because I want to experience life and just have a bigger, live in a bigger city and just kind of have more opportunity. I lived here for three months or four months, I think. I eventually then started dating Matthew. So when I started dating him, my world changed completely. It's one of those things that in my all my life, I haven't experienced love whatsoever. And to finally kind of experience like that relationship, I came to describe it in words. It was just, it felt so, so good. So I remember being extremely happy and everyone knew up here. I was so happy, loving life. And it was just so, so nice. So then the biggest thing, back home, none of my family knew that I was gay yet. Uh, my parents didn't know, my grandparents and my relatives knew. So then I had a dilemma. I was like, okay, I'm so happy. I'm with this amazing guy and I want them to know how happy I am. <laughs> so then I was like, I don't know how I'm gonna break it to them just because, hey, I'm gay, I'm with somebody. So fast forward a little bit more, um, it was October. And me and Matt were dating August, September, three months. And I knew I wanted to come out. I didn't know when. So I was driving back from hanging out with Matthew. And then I had an urge to tell my mom for some reason. It just came over me while I was driving back. I was like, I'm going to call my mom and tell her I'm gay. I called her. She answered the phone. Uh, I wasn't really nervous. But then when I heard her voice, I was extremely nervous. So I was like, oh, damn it. So then we were chatting and stuff like that. And it was kind of an awkward phone call because we were talking, but it was one of those conversations that wasn't really going anywhere. And she knew something was up. So then I was, oh, I have something to tell you. And she's like, okay. So obviously there was a bit of a pause. I was like, I, I met somebody. She's like, oh, okay, who? I was like, well, that's the thing. I was like, I met somebody, I'm dating someone, and that someone is male and I'm gay. We paused for a few seconds. It felt like, hours to be honest like nothing my heart stopped because i was like oh i was like what's gonna happen she broke down and started crying and then i started crying and then i was like why are you crying because i was worried i was like oh she's crying she uh is gonna disown me she's very unhappy just mixed emotions because obviously you read online so many people have such bad situations i pre-framed what was gonna happen pretty much so after that she pretty much said it's fine I was like, as long as you're happy, I still love you no matter what, you're still Tyler. So after that call, I cried and cried and cried and cried and cried. Um, just because it was such an overwhelming feeling to finally be like, I felt free because I wasn't trapped anymore. I could finally be myself. I can finally not hide anything about Matthew. I don't have to hide. I could fully live the life I always wanted to live. So after that, I told mom, I told dad. And through word of mouth and stuff like that, my family started finding out. Um, then I eventually told my grandparents, which is extremely scary. Uh, my grandmother is extremely religious, and I just kind of told her one day that I was gay, and she was totally fine with it. After all that was said and done, it was so relieving for my family to know. And honestly, I was at the point, I didn't really care anymore what people think. If they didn't accept me for who I was, then whatever, so be it. It sucks, but... I'm not going to let people like that be in my life anyway. Uh, for me, I'm very open-minded. I just want people to be happy at the end of the day. Uh, for me, I found... Date. Um, if you aren't out yet and you're looking to come out and whatnot, uh, be ready. Mentally prepare yourself. Uh, surround yourself with a good friend group because you're going to need their res Surround yourself with a good friend group because you are going to need their support just in case. You don't want to be like a lone wolf and tell your family and something happened. Because I'm going to be realistic, it does happen in situations. Say if you do come out and it is a little bit of a shock, if someone reacts badly to the news, I give it time. Time honestly is the best healer. So you never know, people will come around eventually, hopefully. 
If not, then that sucks big time. And come out for yourself, don't come out for anyone else. If you have friends pressuring you or anyone that you know, don't listen to them. Just do it for yourself when you're ready because nothing is worse than being forced out when you're not ready um, and with the times out right. Because yeah, you have to mentally prepare yourself because it is quite a change. But like I said, once you're out, it's so relieving, like, I can't explain the feeling. The weight lifted off your shoulders, it's it's weird. Um, and you will know the feeling, I can't describe it, until you, you like, live through it type thing. Pretty much my coming out story. I didn't want to keep it too long, but this is probably a longer video than I want it to be. So like this video, comment, and subscribe, and share. Um, I'm gonna come up with some cool videos in the future. Other than that, thank you for watching. So if you want to follow me on social media, look in the description below, and then I'll put some links so you can follow me. Other than that, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, hope you have a great week, day, or anything. Um, if you want to send me a message or anything, hope you a great day, video, and, and thank you so much for watching. Bye. It's kind of weird, this whole video I haven't had pants on and you would never know.